Hello and welcome back, Coach Fury here. And um, we're back today with another episode of our LA LA Waves playthrough. Um, just been seeing through um, from when we left off, which I think was the end of November until um, just beginning the All Star Week now. So good time to bring you guys back in, really. So just going to bring up this screen to really to begin with and just uh, run through the All Star game. We'll just sort of talk about how we've been doing. Um, and then perhaps look see if we can make any moves or not. So, initial bit of the All Star game, um, the long distance shootout and the slam dunk uh, tournament. You see, we had Ingram in there and got to the semi finals. Didn't get any further in the slam dunk championship. On the uh, the long distance shootout, no surprise that absolute gunner Kevin Murray um, took took the honours there. Cut quite comfortably, really. Interestingly, that. Um, Steph Curry didn't kind of get out of the initial sort of semi-finals round. Um, we didn't have anyone on there. We don't really have any gunners. So we'll have a quick look now and sort of see how we've been getting on, really. So been a really, really, really good start um, to the season. Really promising. Um, you could probably see by the record up there that we're currently 33 and, and 19. So when we kind of left it off... Um, in the end of November, I think we just lost to Philadelphia. I think we were about eight and three, and we we had a really good run. So we sort of went through um, a couple of wins here against Houston, New York, lost to Milwaukee, Brooklyn. We lost to, which to be honest was a disappointing one, and then we went on a three-game win streak against Atlanta, Detroit, the Clippers, which was good. Lost to Golden State, and then we sort of carried on winning. Really, we beat the Clippers again, beat Denver, beat Boston, lost to Charlotte, which was another. Um, disappointing one really and then we went a little bit patchy here we sort of beat Miami and then lost to Dallas and, and New Orleans again um, before we kind of carried on sort of getting some good wins here um, through the end of sort of December coming into January this is kind of where it all kind of kicked on really you can see here between the 19th of January and the 3rd of February we won you know what's that two four six eight games back to back which was really really good all in a row um, some really good wins there against the uh, the likes of, um, of of Sacramento, Washington, good wins against Denver, um, who are sort of in the playoff hunt as well. So that was good. We've then sort of gone a little bit of a losing streak here. Not too sure why this was. Um, we didn't have any injuries or anything. Um, just probably just a little bit of bad luck. Before we kind of picked it back up again and beat Minnesota and Oklahoma City, who are also both in sort of the playoff hunt really. So when looking at the uh, the standings, we're we're not doing too bad really. So just looking here we're kind of currently in the um sort of the what's that the fourth seed so not too bad um quite comfortably in there really at the moment a few games away from sort of this bottom sort of battle really here um a few games off of the sort of top three really but surprisingly it's probably worth saying that golden state have only just got back the top seed here and um, they were i think at one stage 24 and sort of 14 so they were struggling quite badly that without Durant really, uh, Minnesota with um, KAT was uh, was absolutely dominating. Denver we've kind of been in a bit of a battle with. They've um, been having a really good season so far. Over in the East, it's pretty much business as usual for the uh, the East really. Um, Boston, um, Philadelphia, Milwaukee sort of um, up the top there. Um, no, it's surprising one I guess is probably Boston. So when you look at Boston. And their sort of their roster. If we just have a look at their depth chart, um, you can see here they've obviously still got a very similar rotation to when they kind of first started um, this playthrough series with Thompson, Bradley, Crowder, Horford. They've added a backer, um, I think, in a trade, maybe in last season or season before. But the rest of the rotation is pretty much as is. So they're obviously doing really, really well there. Um, looking at the rest of the uh, the conference, you can see here. Um, Cleveland with uh, an aging LeBron James is, is sort of in the playoff hunt, which I kind of expected. Detroit, who was ranked as I think the second or third best team in the division, having another terrible season, 17-38. No surprise there whatsoever. So overall, I mean, looking at sort of where we are, it's been a really, really good start for us, a good half of the season, really. Um, we'll just take a little look at the uh, the leaders in sort of points and things. So. Jokic is sort of dominating, hence why Denver are doing so well. Um, no surprise that the usual suspects are here. Um, Westbrook, Harden, Towns, Davis. Interestingly, Paul Zingas is back up here, so he's, he seems to develop quite well for them. 
and we've got wall wall up there which is good looking at sort of the assists um, again pretty much business as usual uh, Rondo Westbrook Thomas wall up there Harden um, Russell interestingly seems to have found his feet a little bit here he's still getting a lot of turnovers though so probably a good decision to move him really and then in rebounds very much usual sort of suspects again um, you can see we've got Gobert and Noel there which is good in terms of blocks um, and beat for dominating this class really um, you can see we've, we've got our guys up there as well and then just finally just steals I mean no no surprise there I mean the uh, I think he's is he a rookie I think he might be a rookie your first year um, Drag, Drag Kovic, Draskovic is um, sort of inside the top 10 so he's obviously having a, a good season as well in terms of stealing the ball so we're just going to go through and we'll, we'll play through the um, the all-star game and the rookie sort of game interesting to see if we get anyone in the all-star um, in, in terms of the Western Conference lineup because um, I think Wall probably deserves a place be interested if Ingram gets there or Noel as well um, so they've had some really good se really good starts this season so hopefully one of our guys will end up in the uh, in the game itself um, so we're going to just play through this rookie and so forth game I don't think we will have anyone in here possibly Geeson I mean he's um, possibly um, but I, I doubt it really uh, we'll have a little look and see anyway as usual it looks like the sophomores have, have won that game um, quite comfortably so we'll have a little look at the box score so yeah I don't think we've got anyone on oh Geese in there he played 7 minutes hardly anything really um, Brett Cook getting the honours there um, it's the best player of the game sophomores sort of wrapping that one up so let's, we'll have a look at the uh, the Western and Eastern North Star game let's see how that went see if we've got anyone in here so it looks like the Western Conference has won it which is no surprise to anyone who's sort of been following this series along all the sort of the top talent really is in the West in this game at the moment um, we'll see if any of our guys have, have managed to get a nod in here um, have a look see if there's any sort of surprise selections wonder if LeBron James has made it back in now I'd imagine so, but um, Cleveland are having an okay season being in the playoff hunt, but um, he might be one that um, possibly will be available at the trade deadline, I imagine. So let's have a little look. So in terms of the Western All-Stars, looks like John Wall was in there, which is good. At least it looks like we've got one player in there. So Drek Draskovic, who was... Uh, I mentioned having a good season, managed to get an all-star uh, nod as well. Um, Tobe Davis, another sort of, uh, not rookie, but uh, generator player in this game, got a nod. And Ken Kenneth Leons, who, the one guy I tried to get, I think, in the first or second draft, um, unfortunately, uh, was having to re develop him really well. So perhaps we should have tried to trade up to get him. In terms of uh, John Wall's performance, not too bad. 7 of 12, uh, took a few three-pointers, a couple of assists couple of turnovers so he, he demonstrated himself pretty well but in terms of starters you can't really argue with uh, Westbrook, Harden, Green, Leonard and Towns um, looking over at the east now LeBron James got a starting nod as well but he had an absolutely terrible night 3 of 12 there Paul Zingas um, having a really good season and B no surprise he's there probably surprising that DeRozan's um, got selected I mean he's just a scorer really um, but you know, it just shows the, the depth um, that the West has in comparison to the East. Interesting, Simmons didn't get a nod, but I guess Paul Zingas probably is, would have t has taken his place, so um, maybe expected. Um, Clarkson, Jordan Clarkson, our guy we had when we started this Let's Play, um, getting a, an all-star nod. Um, I think he's in New York now. We traded him over there, so I think he's still there. Um, Kevin Love, Irving, Batum, so you can look at this. And Batum, Vucevic, probably wouldn't get an all-star nod if there was a little bit more balance across the uh, the conferences and then finally Paul George um, getting in there as well so really good to see that John Moore was in there um, that's that's good for us um, shame that uh, the likes of um, Ingram didn't get a nod um, would have been nice to have seen him in there um, but you know nice to get at least one person in the all-star game because we've had a really good start and a really good early half of this season going 33-19 comfortably in the playoffs which is really good 
so let's have a little look if we've got anyone um, sort of being shopped at the moment in terms of across the uh, across the uh, the league. So it looks like so Atlanta obviously having a really bad season, shopping pretty much everything. Um, Rubio, Johnson, Cancer. So probably nothing there that sort of stands out. Let's have a little flick through some of these teams. So likewise, Chicago kind of had an okay season, seemed to be shopping a few people around. It's a shame on a depot. Uh, is uh, on such a huge contract because he'd have probably been someone we could have quite comfortably taken, who I'd have probably looked at to uh, to take as a, a starting position over Green. Really, um, just a shame he's earning so much money. Really, <laughs> we can't really match that. Um, so Lopez, Stevenson. So interesting. Rondo's being shopped. He seems to be shopped every single um, break every single trade deadline on this um, with Chicago but he keeps, seems to be going back there which is surprising so let's have a look so yeah again Detroit are in full blown tank mode it looks like trying to get Reggie, Reggie Jackson and Tobias Harris's contract off the books uh, no surprise Golden State not doing anything or Houston who are having good seasons so interestingly Paul George is available um 25 million. I don't know if we'll be able to get match that, uh, but that might be someone we could have a look at because he could, he could be a real help. I mean, we were talking about Oladipo a minute ago with his contract, but George is probably worth his contract. So uh, Monterellis, interestingly, at 10 million might be an, an option. Um, just wondering whether he's still got any defense. So he still looks fairly solid. Still shooting okay, possibly an option, cheaper contract for us there. I'm just, um, my main thing for this um, trade deadline, see whether we can just get someone a little bit better in a shooting guard, because I think we've we've, we've got had a really, really good start to season. I don't want to mess around with it too much. Um, looks like not too many people being shopped there. Sacramento, no surprise, and moving people, Cousins and Collison. Um, San Antonio also shopping people. Um, Kyle Leonard's on the block. Might be difficult to get him though. They might want a lot for him. Uh, scroll down here, let's have a little look. So Rodney Hood is an interesting one. But he's $18 million. That's a, a difficult one to try and match up with really. Let's have a little look and see. So yeah, possibly an option. Problem we've got is that a lot of the guys that are being shopped uh, on, on sort of big salaries and we, we can't necessarily take back their contracts and um, we do have about five million five five or six million in cap space that we we could try to uh, to use okay so a couple of options there to have a think about one thing that I wanted to have a look at was whether Ingram was interested in the extension okay so you want 17 million for three years so is it So I think what we're going to do with Ingram, we're going to probably going to leave him. I think I know he's had a really, really good season, um, and he's seventeen million. Though that's the question, isn't it? Is whether we want to pay him that now, or whether we want to gamble in free agency that he'll be worth less. Not sure if the Go Bears contract's expiring as well because he's up for extension. No, so he's got another two years to go, so we can we can sit him. Just let's have a look, see how much he wants. Actually, just out of interest, he probably wants another like twenty million dollar contract. Yeah, it's about eighty million. Um, I don't think anyone else is up for extension at the moment. So yeah, we've got a few decisions. Um, when's the trade deadline? So. Mind me again, where's this trade deadline? Okay, so the 22nd. So I'm probably going to see him through a couple of days now. We'll have a look, see if we can make any moves. Um, we do have our first round pick this year, which we could use in a package. Um, just coming to hand, I think the player that, players that we could probably try to shop are Kirkland, Geeson, 
first round pick and then probably anyone who's not earning sort of huge amounts Gobert is probably one that we could have a think about but I'd only want to move Gobert if we're going to get a Gonna, he's going to jump us and get us another real star to be honest um, because I think um, that's that's kind of the what I would want to move him for if there was any other option um, the other guys probably move to just fill some pieces in um, but I like Geeson off the bench and I like Kirkland off the bench so again if we can just get another really really good starter out of those guys and, and using the first round pick then that's that's possibly an option So we'll have a little look after this. This is sort of sim through just to see. Oh, we've got an injured player. Interesting, because we didn't even play. Unless that's uh, Johnson is in the D-League. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's Johnson. He's got himself injured. Oh, okay, he's only out for a little while. He's having not too bad a season, actually, in the D-League. He's um, been quite impressed by him. He's shooting fairly well. Um, so possibly one that we can um, think about giving some minutes next year really if he carries on that performance because as a backup point guard he's, he's got some solid stats really. Um, let's have a little look see if there's any transactions around the date, deadline so far. So it looks like not a lot's happened. Um, we'll just scroll back and just see if anything else has, has occurred over the season because I haven't checked that yet. But it doesn't. I don't think there's been any major moves uh, so some minor moves there by Portland uh, Crab for Jeff Teague which is a bit of a nothing deal um, doesn't look like there's been anything else uh, Rangers moved or Dallas I should say moved Green and a second round pick for Riot but nothing there's been no major major moves so far nah nothing really Oklahoma managed to get Stanley Johnson who I don't think he's developed as well as as they were hoping in Detroit on this so Minnesota signed Al Jefferson on a free free from free agency but okay so nothing else really major my thoughts are with this is um, Geeson is probably one that we could try and move he's still got oh, he's coming up to you know we still have his bird rights he's he's done okay since he's been in the league um, possibly try and move him I mean Kirkland's one I probably would want to move um, I think Carroll could easily fill in for him um, and he probably has a little bit of trade value because he's still got a bit more development um, obviously we're not going to move Wall we're not going to move we might move Ingram I won't say we won't move Ingram just because if we can get someone who's better than Ingram then that's a possibility probably not going to, the one guy the other guy that I'm probably not going to move is, is Noel um, I think he's he's so so good on this um, he was such a good pick up for us he's still only 24 um, he's, he's putting up some solid numbers um, Gobert is possibly one that we might look at um, but I think what I'll do there is I'm going to end this episode a little bit earlier I'm going to shop round see if we can make any moves and then Next episode, we'll sort of come back just after or around the trade deadline, um, and we'll just sort of talk around what moves have been made, um, and then we'll, we'll if there is if there are any moves, if there aren't any moves, then I'll probably just go through and play through to the uh, the end of the season, and we'll sort of bring it back in the playoffs. So we'll see how we get on. Um, but if you've enjoyed the episode, just hit the like button, and you can always subscribe along to watch each episode as it comes out.